Hey, what's up guys? Sean here. This weekend we have made our way back up to Georgia. We are in Enigma, Georgia, back at the Paradise Public Fishing Area with South Georgia Budget Bushcraft. So we were just here for one night, decided to go ahead and make the trip. Sound like a lot of fun. We're gonna throw this hammock up and have a good time. Let's get it. This weekend we're gonna be using the Hanging High Hammocks REM hammock and uh, used this thing a couple times before. I really like this system. So get this thing set up so we can get to relax. As you can see, it's very, very windy. Quick tip, if it's really windy like that, grab your pack, throw it in the hammock. Not blowing around anymore. This REM hammock here is the one that, if you remember, I made a little video on it for the initial impression of this thing. And one of the things that I really liked about it is the fact that this bug net zips almost all the way off of it and it has its own little pocket up here to store away in. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll need the bug net tonight. It's supposed to be down in the 60s, so I think I'll be okay without it. But what we're going to do is go ahead and pack it up for now, and then if I need it, I can unzip it. Pretty simple. Simple as that. Okay, so my ridge line came up a little bit short. This tree is bigger than what I'm used to uh, hooking up to, and this ridge line's a little bit short anyway. But I got a really simple way to attach these two lines together. Now, there are lots of different ways to do this, but what I like to do is really, really simple. It's just a basic square knot. So I've got a bow on on this end. I make a bite in my line. I push this through my bite and I just bring my bite right up through that bowl. Really simple. Pull that four inch through. And then when you're done, you got a little square knot in your line. Now it's not going to slip. It's going to bite down on itself. And when you're done, you can easily just break it loose and push it back out and it comes apart real easy. All right, as you can see, we got everything all set up and ready to go. Now later on this evening, if I need to, I will put my under quilt under there in my blanket. I do have my inflatable pillow and everything, but for right now, got everything set up the way I need it. I got my pack in there setting uh, weight inside the hammock so the wind's not just blowing it all over the place. It's very breezy out here, but we're all set up now, so let's walk up here and see what everybody else is up to. Unfortunately, I walked up a little late to see Jim get this ember with a hand drill. Oh yeah, we're almost there. There we go. There it is. Got it. Had a smoky out. Nice. Warm and toasty.
weeks ago when I went to the George Bush Craft uh, spring camp out, I was seeing something that Blackie had on his haversack. And I must be the last guy to the party on this one because I had never seen it before. I've used them before for pulling cars out and stuff, but I've never seen anybody use one on their pack. Well, he had what he was calling the Bush Crab Soft Shackle. And I don't know why I've never thought about it before, but it was awesome. So I was just sitting around making some. I thought I'd show you what I was doing with it. Um, very, very simple to make. Now, what I'm doing is just taking, getting enough cordage to go from my shoulders to the tip to my finger and just cut me a little chunk off of it and just melt the end of it, you know, to keep it from fraying up. But the nice thing about these is it's like a quick connect. You can add anything to your pack, real simple, as long as you've got something to connect it to with a soft shackle, or you can make a bigger one like I've got here, and you could easily just throw this around a tree and hook your pack, just hang your pack from a tree. Very, very simple. But I uh, thought I'd just show you how to make it. So I got the ends melted up here. We're just gonna take these and make a simple little overhand knot over your finger here. Try to keep the ends lined up. Simple little overhand knot and keep it dressed up where it's nice and neat. Now I'm trying to keep this all tucked together so it's not gonna, not gonna have a bunch sticking off the end of this. But as you can look here, I've got these tied pretty tight and close. Now we're going to heat this up and we're going to melt this so we can uh, mash this down on here to keep it from loosening itself up. Just like that. Got it all melted on there. So now we keep that from backing off of itself. Super simple. Now you got a Bushcraft soft shackle. Very, very easy to use. Now, in just a quick use of it, you can just drop this through here and pinch that and let it catch, and it'll lock. But if you're walking, it's probably gonna come undone. So what I've seen done, and the way I'll use it, is you actually spread these apart. You're gonna bring your loop between these two now, once you do that, you're going to come back and push that knot through that and pull it. Now, once you do that, that is locked on there and it's not going to bounce loose. And that's a good way to attach something to the side of your pack. Um, you can attach your knife to it real quick. Like, that's how Blackie had his on his haversack attached with a, just a little bushcraft soft shackle. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool. And I thought I'd show you guys how to make them. And uh, now you can make your own. Pretty cool. Well, <clears throat> it looks like they've got the grill going up there. So they're starting to get that ready for, to make dinner. Tonight, I brought a bunch of uh, pork country style ribs. I'm going to be seasoning up. These are not just for me. These will be some for everybody. But I'm going to season them with the gospel this time. This is uh, Meat Church's all-purpose rub, the gospel. So I'm gonna season these up real good with that. And they should be delicious. So we got the meat over here seasoned up, it's sweating out. I think it's time for us to make us a mixture. Got a little luxury today, got some ice in the cup. Alright, so I think I'm going to make my way back over there now and uh, hang out. We'll be getting these on the grill here pretty quick.
time to just sit by the campfire here and uh, hang out for a little while. I've been sitting here whittling some. Got this little guy whittled up. He turned out pretty cool. We're all just sitting out here hanging out. I think I'm going to sit here, have my drink, and then uh, I'll be heading to bed here in just a little while. So we had a good time hanging out around the fire and just chilling the night and joking around and telling stories and stuff. It was a really good time and I needed that. So it was a long trip to just come spend one night, but it's been worth it. It's been a lot of fun. So I am ready now to climb in my hammock and crash out for the night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Some sunrise this morning from the hammock absolutely beautiful actually once I got to sleep last night I slept really good it took me a while to get to sleep last night I had a hard time getting to sleep I laid there and watched some YouTube videos and stuff try to be quiet because everybody else is asleep but it was a really really good night of sleep once I got to sleep there's so many animals making noises out here yeah I mean just such an assortment of animals making noises out here. Birds and, I mean, birds and owls. They're both birds, if you didn't know that. But, like, just coyotes and just everything last night was going off. It, it was really neat. I had a really good time here, even though it was just a quick overnighter. Um, and this is not the wilderness. This is not way out in the middle of nowhere. We are car camping right here with all our stuff, but it doesn't always have to be a wilderness trip, guys. Sometimes you can just come out here and camp and just have some fun. I'm ready for some coffee, though. Just barely fits. No sense in putting the water in the coffee pot and then pouring it from the coffee pot into there when I can just put it into there and make the coffee, right?
So for breakfast this morning, going really simple. Got some little cuties. A few of these. That would be good for breakfast this morning. Trying to make some healthier choices, you know. I never buy these things. Matter of fact, I didn't buy these. One of my customers gave them to me. But, uh, I love them, but I never buy them. Really sweet. last hot chocolate. Might as well use it. Man, it feels so good this morning. This low 60s this morning. Breeze coming across here. It's actually a little bit chilly sitting here without my or without any sleeves on. But it's nice. It feels good this morning. This is a beautiful place up here. This is the uh, Paradise Public Fishing Area, Enigma, Georgia. I've been up here before with these guys and. It's just such a nice place here to camp. This is the group campsite. And there is water on site and fire rings and benches and things like that. And the bathroom's about a third of a mile over there. Not far. It's not a bad walk. But there's plenty of room in here to set up tents and stuff. Or you could car camp in here. And uh, there's also... You know, of course, there's trees for me to hammock camp on. There's plenty of room. I don't know exactly how many people that you're allowed to have camp in this uh, group campsite here, but you could squeeze quite a few people in here if you wanted to. But it's a beautiful area. Really, really nice. They do have the other um, single campsites down there. And I've showed that in my other Paradise Public Fishing Area video with these guys. I'll link it in the card up here if you want to watch that one. Um, but I went down there and I kind of showed all the little individual campsites down there. And it's a nice area though. I like this site because you're up on the hill. And you can kind of look down on the ponds and stuff. And the ponds are all the way around us. Right on the other side over there of us. There's a, a, a catfish pond where they were over there yesterday. And yesterday evening, a bunch of people were over there catching catfish and stuff. So, it's a really nice area though. And this is about three hours from my house. So, it's not close, but it's not, you know, six, seven hours from home.
man what a good time this was a really really good time if you have a group like this that you can come out and camp with sometimes and you don't do it you are missing out so you don't always have to be out by yourself you don't have to be you know just with family meet you a group like this find you some friends to camp out with and just go have a good time get out there get in the woods learn something do something new and have a good time unfortunately we're at the end of this camp out it's time to break things down and get headed home it happens All right guys, per usual, I'm the last guy in camp. I'm all packed up now, I'm ready to go. If you enjoyed this video, give it that big thumbs up for me. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment below, let me know what you thought about the video, share it with your friends if you think they'll enjoy it. Appreciate you guys watching. Until I see you next time, get out there in the woods.